everyone and welcome back to Nine Nails Garage. Today we're going to be picking up my $30,000 2006 Dodge Viper Coupe. Now if you knew anything about the Dodge Viper, $30,000, that's pretty dang cheap, especially for a third gen and especially for a coupe. So this car does have a rebuilt title and it looks like it's definitely going to need a little bit of TLC. So it's going to make for a great project and I'm really excited to see it, really excited to pick it up and see the overall condition. So stay tuned, we're going to jump in the truck. We're gonna run over, pick up our U-Haul trailer, and then we're gonna hit the road. hotel and uh, we got a little rattle coming from our valve train up here I'm thinking there's an intake valve that loosened up because we are smoking like crazy as well so it's either a bad injector or uh, we got a valve that is somehow messed up you can hear the intake kind of popping too so I brought my tools, so I'm going to go ahead and pull the valve cover off, see if we can't find a loose valve or something in there, and uh, see if we can't get it tightened up. So here we are, it's the next day. It is 28 degrees outside. Uh, had a late night last night, came into the hotel and the uh, truck was making a bunch of knocking noises. So uh, barely limped it in and uh, seems to be blowing a good amount of smoke out the exhaust and it's got a little knock to it. I think I've got a bummed injector. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the truck off at a Dodge dealership I might have to get it towed um, and then uh, we're gonna drop off the U-Haul trailer at a U-Haul place and then I think we're gonna drive the Viper home and then we'll probably have to ship the truck home sometime later on in the future so unfortunate but things happen and uh, we'll get through it so hopefully the Viper's in uh, better shape than the truck and uh, can make it a little bit further to get home um, if not that'll be a lot more interesting but uh, we'll see good morning everyone it is actually the next day after we were supposed to pick up the Viper and uh, I saw the Viper get there and it was a clapped out, beaten down, it was in very rough shape. So we didn't end up getting the Viper and um, then we ran around all day yesterday and had to figure out a place to drop off the U-Haul trailer so we got that figured out. U-Haul wasn't very easy to work with because it was supposed to go back to uh, the place that I got it from and uh, that didn't work out. So we were able to do that and then uh, we sat in the parking lot, tinkered with the truck a little bit, tried to see if we could isolate an injector because I think it's an injection problem. I think one of the injectors is dumping way too much fuel into the combustion chamber and it's leaking by that. My oil level's high. So uh, that's an indication of leaking fuel in there and uh, also the black slash white smoke that's coming out of the exhaust that smells like diesel fuel. So definitely think that's what's wrong with it. Hopefully we didn't end up with any uh, block damage or the cylinder damage. Um, there's no blow by in it, so that's a good sign. 
but we just want to make sure the, uh, the cylinders are all scored up from not having the adequate lubrication. But aside from that, I started looking for trucks, started trying to figure out how I was going to get home because uh, we are a little ways from home and uh, I came across this. This is a 2006 Dodge Ram 2500 with the Cummins turbo diesel and uh, it's actually an absolutely beautiful truck. It's got 172,000 miles on it and um, it's in really good shape. It was a one owner so so you can only imagine the, the condition this thing's in. There's no rust on it, no rust on the frame, no rust on the uh, on the body anywhere and he just had it ceramic coated so it's actually cleaner than my other 07 so I'm pretty happy with it and uh, yeah I think it'll get the job done after we got the truck figured out late last night I uh, I found a trailer and it had to be you know I had to have the 5,000 pound axles on it because the uh, 3,500 pound wouldn't cut it and uh, you know be cutting it too close I'd be overloaded with that with that other truck on there heading home so I didn't want to do that I didn't want to risk it and uh, I was actually able to find a 24 by 7 foot equipment trailer and uh, should have plenty of room for the truck on there and it's got 5200 pound axles so we'll be good there we won't be overloaded and we should make it home safely so yesterday was definitely a bummer but it it started to shape up you know we we got the truck figured out and then we got the trailer figured out uh, both of them you know they just kind of fell into place and they worked out so I spent a lot of time researching a lot of time looking for places around here that had trailers but um, you know that was it was pretty hard but I was able to make something work out and uh, got a pretty good deal on both of these I paid 17,000 for the truck and uh, the trailer was 3700 bucks so i think we got our next project but right now we're on the way back to the hotel to pick up the broke down ram and get a load on the trailer i'm gonna have to swap out um all eight tires i gotta put the skinny tires on this truck they're the stock wheels and tires on the 07 to get it on the trailer because i don't think the wide tires will fit between the fenders and these tires are pretty bald and i don't want to be driving that far on these bald tires special tow in the trailer. Once we get the truck and the trailer home, I think tomorrow morning, I'll do a walk around everything and I'll show you the condition of the truck. So this is essentially how you turn lemons into lemonade. over all the wheels and tires swapped out all 64 lug nuts changed out uh, on and off so that's 128 times with the impact gun but um, everything came out all right and, uh, and yeah I got a little wet in the process I'm sure you saw that and that was kind of miserable but you know not as miserable as I was yesterday not knowing what I was gonna do to get home or not so um, so this is working out it's towing beautifully got the truck back there the trucks driving beautifully trailers pulling great so we're cruising right along and uh, and yeah we're gonna make it home in a few hours so so everything's going well we are gonna get home a little after dark so I'm gonna show you the truck tomorrow in the morning we'll do a walk around of it and I'll show you everything about it and uh, just how clean it is so we definitely came out on top on this deal and even though we didn't end up with the Dodge Viper we still uh, we still came out pretty good.
made it back from my trip safe and sound. And uh, we got the 06 in the background and we got the 07 um, over there. And we also got a trailer on the other side. But we made it back okay and uh, it's not really how the trip was supposed to go. We were supposed to end up with a 2006 Dodge Viper Coupe. But um, yeah, this is how it turned out. And it actually turned out all right. I think uh, this truck we did pretty good on. You know, it's a beautiful truck and uh, if I wanted to sell it, I don't think I'd have any issue at all selling it. Um, not sure exactly what we're going to do with it yet, but as you can see, it's pretty dang clean. No rust anywhere. Barely even any rock chips. And, uh, you know, inside of the door jams. Just absolutely beautiful. There's a little bit of dirt here, but, you know, no rust anywhere. So this is a beautiful truck. Check out the interior. The seat is good shape, no rips, no sagging cushions, and uh, no cracks in the dashboard, nothing, no wear on the steering wheel. This is a really nice truck and I'm very happy with it. Everything's in good shape. Got a tunnel cover back there. Um, only thing we really need is tires on this truck. Um, but you know, that's, that's really about it. I think, uh, we might need some axle seals in the rear end and, uh, I'm probably just going to go through it and probably put new brakes on it. The rotors are a little, a uh, little rusty. look a little bit old, maybe a little bit worn, but, um, we'll see. Um, tailgate does have a dent in it. So I think we're going to try to repair the tailgate. Um, uh, we might get body color bumpers front and rear and uh, a grill for it to match because I really like that look especially with white but as you can see no dents or dings in the body this truck was really well taken care of and no more rock chips you know so I think we definitely came out on top with this and may have done better with this truck than the Viper even the front bumper no scratches, no nicks, no rock chips. This thing was really well taken care of. So, let's see. Show you the passenger side. Floor mats are in good shape. And just overall, a beautiful truck. Let me show you underneath the hood. Beautiful 5.9 Cummins. And very clean, no rust, no corrosion, nothing weird, no leaks, no blow by. Very nice truck. So I think in total, we spent about $1,100 in uh, diesel fuel and the U-Haul fee and uh, just a bunch of miscellaneous thing, hotels for a few nights and uh, stuff like that. So we've got 17,000 into this and $1,100 in travel expenses. Um, we also have this trailer over here that I don't think I'm gonna have a problem at all selling. We got this for 3,700 bucks and it's a 24 foot um, by seven foot 10,000 pound, I think 10,400 um, equipment trailer. So that worked out well. I think on average these go for around 5,000 bucks. We got eight lug wheels. So it's basically a brand new trailer. And uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have any problem selling that. Over here, we do still have the uh, 07. And uh, like I said, I believe it's a blown injector. Hopefully we didn't get any cylinder damage. So uh, in the next upcoming video, we're gonna be ripping this thing apart. We're gonna pull the injectors out. We're gonna get them tested and uh, we're gonna do cylinder inspection. I think it's gonna be pretty obvious which cylinder it is when we pull the injectors out. Um, so hopefully we don't have any cylinder damage and uh, we can just get injectors replaced and go from there. But let me know if you have any ideas or anything you wanna see done to the 06 in the comment section down below and we'll see if we can make it happen. Um, I know I promised the next project was gonna be better than the uh, 2006 Dodge Viper Coupe, but we wound up with a, uh, an 06 Cummins instead. So 
Uh, it just is what it is. It was, it was the cards we were dealt, and we made the best out of it. So thanks for watching my failed attempt at trying to buy another 2006 Dodge Viper Coupe. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.